Welcome to my Boot HQ, where I bring you breaking boot news as often as I possibly can. <laughs> so what I have here are some Jackrabbit's Lager boots in Horween's Natural Chrome Excel. They actually call this Olive Chrome Excel on their website, but it's, it is Natural Chrome Excel. So real quick, uh, Jackrabbit's is an Indonesian maker, and uh, they allow you to fully customize your boots using any material of your choosing. These are not mine, these were sent to me to review, though I am very partial to them and they fit me rather well. So so what we have here is the Jackrabbit's Lager and it's got a very beautiful perforated cap toe. We've got a brown super grip Dr. Soul as well as Jackrabbit's imprinted there in the bottom. That's Jackrabbit's with two Ks. I always get confused when I try to find them on Instagram because I spell it Jack CK and nothing comes up. Uh, well, stuff comes up, but it's not the boot maker. This is just a phenomenal build. It's got a really nice block heel back here, a back heel counter, probably some of the best cuts of natural Chrome XL I have ever seen. Separate back heel strip, separate back heel counter. The edge is stained like a very nice cherry color. Perforated cap toe, absolutely beautiful. The stitching on it is insane. So it's gonna be double row, stitch down 180 degrees and then a single row extends to the 270 degree position. Nice flat waxed cotton laces, antique brass hardware, three speed hooks, five standard eyelets. Very beautiful pair of boots. It's on the site they call this the Horween Chrome XL Olive Brown Lager boot, otherwise known as what I would refer to as natural Chrome XL, as it is the undyed Chrome XL. And this is on the Jack Rabbit's Nosler Last. It's a very nicely rounded out, a little almondy, but mostly rounded out toe. It's got a really nice, generous wide fitting heel, a decent amount of taper in the waist. And then what's really uh, impressive to me are the nails that they use to hammer in the sole. I don't see that very frequently, actual brass nails hammered in there. Now these are originally uh, Mario's boots and I actually do not know the size because he actually instead of selecting a size like I normally do he actually sent in his foot measurements and so they based it off of that and so I did reach out to Jackrabbits and they actually told me that these boots are an EU size 43 slash US size 10 on the Jackrabbits Nosler last they also said that they asked the customer the length and width of their foot so that they can double check the perfect size I find the fact that these are a size 10 pretty surprising because wearing them, I can tell you that they feel maybe about a half size large on my foot. They definitely don't feel a full size large. Now I am a US 9 Brannock, I wear eight and a half in most US boot brands. If these are 43s, I'm surprised by how well they fit. My heel to ball seems to be almost perfect. The width is perfect. I think the length is maybe just a little long, but feeling my toe, my toe feels about half an inch from the front. And so I could go down a half size and it would be perfect. I think at this size 43, they're still very good though. They're totally wearable. I don't need an insert or anything with them. I have some other natural Chrome XL here. These are my Grantstone diesel boots in natural Chrome XL. And I'm gonna compare these to the Jackrabbits. I will try to confirm with Jackrabbits what the size was. It appears to me to be about a half size shorter in length, which would probably end up being a perfect fit for me. Like I said, they are a little wide, but I put them on briefly and the fit is very good. In fact, whatever that size is, that's that's my size. I wouldn't change the size. I might be able to go down a little bit in width, but it's a very good fit. And as you can see, the Grant Stones have aged brilliantly. They've really darkened up a bit. This natural Chrome XL is a really brilliant, really good cut. Um, it's really thick stuff. I'm gonna pull a rose anvil here. It's five and three quarter ounces thick Chrome XL, which is quite thick. And then how about an Alden True Balance? Last comparison. So yeah, the Aldens are about a half size longer as well compared to the Jackrabbits. Looks like the same width though. 
looks to me to be the same width. Now the Aldens do fit a little generously on me, so these Jackrabbits, like I said, are a perfect fit. Just an all-star winner boot. The workmanship, yeah, is just as good as any other of the Indonesian makers that I've had the privilege of reviewing. It's flawless. I mean, the Indonesians do really they're really perfectionists at what they do. It's really top notch. In fact, I recently reviewed some John Lofgren engineer boots and they're made in Japan. Um, but honestly, as far as the construction goes, I can't tell the difference. And I love the John Lofgrens. They're expensive. They're like a thousand bucks. These are like basically half the price, if not a little less actually on their website. They sell these for $3.99. <laughs> I'm not going to try to discourage you from buying the more expensive stuff, but honestly, like if you buy from Indonesia, you're saving so much on the labor portion, and that's where your savings comes in, and it's a radical savings, to say the least. <laughs> Let's talk about some of Jack Rabbit's other boots. So they have a lot of boots. They have a lot of makeups. Uh, really, really great makeups. So for their field boot, which is, again is built on their barns last, they allow for so much customization within the boot. So like, for example, I'm looking at all the field boot options. They've got seven inch field boots. They've got plain toe field boots, perforated cap toe field boots. They've got Norwegian split toe field boots. They're offering leathers such as Shinki Hikaku Black T-Core, Badalassi Pueblo Oliva, Dark Brown Rough Outs, natural vegetable tan, tochigi, double horse front, horween, burgundy pull-up, oil tan maroon field boots, green shrunken horse butt from Shinki Hikaku. Whoa, that is some really attractive stuff. Rough out Badalassi Pueblo in bone. They do a service boot, which again, I can't really tell the difference between the service boots. The service boots are also built on the barns last. So I am kind of confused from style to style. Like what constitutes a service boot, what constitutes a field boot. The one Jackrabbit's boot that really caught my eye from the beginning, and I mean, the, this is a stunning, stunning pair. I might have to put in an order. Yeah, the Rough Out Horween Chamois Olive Logger Boot. This is one crazy looking logger, that's for sure. It's got the Olive Rough Out, the Chamois, the Horween Chamois, which I have a pair of Renav Goods Austerity Brogues in mushroom chamois and this to me looks like the same chamois it is utterly amazing stuff i am a sucker for that mossy green color i'm a sucker for green this one in particular is built on the nosler last or the nosler last Th this is just a pair of boots that have really haunted my dreams over the past year i'd say ever since i saw them and yeah i have friends that have this particular olive horween chamois rough out they're utterly brilliant in every way. Ugh. The Nosler last is a half size up from the Brannock device. So if you're a US 11, you'll be an 11 and a half in the Nosler last. Anyways, double check the size with your foot length measurements. Okay. So I'd probably want to go true to size then. I'm betting if I went true to size at a size nine, that would fit me really well. That will do it for now. I just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out on these incredibly good Jackrabbits boots. They've been on my radar for a while. Huge thanks to Mario for sending me these to review. Mario, I couldn't do it without you, my friend. You have really helped boost my content and allow me to review boots from makers that I otherwise would have never been able to. So thank you so much for that, sir. If you don't follow Mario on Instagram, his username is Boot Reaper. Go give Boot Reaper a follow. He's got an outstanding boot collection and he's a good friend of mine. Really helps me out with my content. And so huge thanks to Mario. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Let's keep the love of boots alive. Leave me a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.